boy, it is your boy, G20, and welcome back to NHL 20 Franchise Mode with the Detroit Red Wings. You can see that we are well underway into this regular season because, let me tell you something, last video we did some things, alright, we signed some players, we did the draft and everything, but it just wasn't going to be a competitive team. It just wasn't going to be anything crazy. It was going to be another year, basically, of tanking. So, despite having a really good start for the Red Wings, I said, you know what? Let's just skip all of this, okay? We don't need to see all of this because I can just show you guys what happened right here. We had a good start. Eventually, we tailed off, and now we are back to being the Detroit Red Wings, and we are at the bottom of the Atlantic Division. So we are now at the trade deadline because I went ahead and I skipped everything that has not been important to show. And let me just show you guys what's been happening, okay? Let me just give you a little bit of a quick sneak peek. Dylan Larkin, as always, is our team's leading scorer. We have Philip Zadina, who's having a decent year. Really decent year, man. He could end up with 25 goals if he has a good end to the season. So he's he's out here. Our boy Bertuzzi, good stuff, good season as well. We're not expecting fireworks from him. We put Svechnikov on the third line. I would put him on the first, but if we do, he doesn't have any chemistry boost. So I figured let's put him on the third. He's going to be able to tear up third lines, and he's going to be able to have a little bit of a boost with the chemistry. Hasn't been going too well, so you know what? We're going to do this right now at the trade deadline. Boom, switched him up. We're going to put Bertuzzi back on the third line. He got his numbers this year, so it is what it is. And now Sveshnikov is going to be on the first line, and he's going to get to develop up there for the rest of the season. Now, as far as our spares go, uh, we turned injuries off because I did not want to micromanage all kind of injuries. So injuries have been turned off for this season. And look at our goaltenders, Calvin Picard, 895, very not good. But I picked up Casey DeSmith off of waivers from the Pittsburgh Penguins, and he has a 905 save percentage. So you know what? If we're going to get a free 905 goaltender, why not do it? We went ahead and did it, and this is where we are at the trade deadline. There really is nothing that we realistically need to do. Actually, you know what? Looking at everything, uh, Dmitry Timoshov, one more year at 1.5 million. You know what? We're not even going to do anything at the trade deadline. We ain't going to do it. We're just going to keep riding this out. Okay, just keep riding it. Let's see if we got a contract extension to work on. Perhaps we could do that. We got, uh, it's Dano Char. That's not happening. I'm not going to extend, uh, an ancient player like that. We have, we have Ronak and Pirlini that would be interested in re-signing with us. That's interesting. Philip Zadine is still on his, uh, ELC. God bless him. And we have, okay, we have a few players that we could work on. A little bit of an extension, but I don't I don't feel like it's it's worth the time other than our boy Svechnikov. I would love to extend him. A uh, three-year contract that he wants at four and at four point nine. Ooh, five million dollars is a bit steep, but he is gonna play in the top six. Now, since he wants to re-sign, how about we make it four years? And we're going to drop his number to 4.4. I feel like that is a good deal for us. I know that's not what he wants, but I'm not in the business of giving the contracts that players want. I'm in the business of getting contracts that help my team win hockey games in the future. So that's just that's just how it is. If he accepts it, good. If not, we can just keep negotiating. Negocios are negocios, okay? We don't want to be decided to reject your offer. That's fine. That's cool. You're still a restricted free agent, so it's not like you have any sort of extra power, okay, Evgeny? Well, now he doesn't want to negotiate an extension anymore, but it's all good. We can negotiate it in the offseason. That's perfectly fine with me. I don't have a problem with that. Maybe it was a little bit too... Um, too much of a low ball offer, but it's all good. Like I said, we can just negotiate in the offseason. We have a ton of cap space anyway. So it is what it is. Svechnikov could, can become like an 85, 86 even, but he's never going to be like a really, you know, franchise changing kind of player. So I, I'm really not sweating it. Right, we're going to move ahead and keep on going, simulate all the way to the end of the season. And you know what? The Red Wings actually got a little bit of w's going here can we get potentially to the playoffs i kind of hope not i would like another lottery pick it would be it would be the best really because we are not ready to compete the team just isn't ready we don't have a goalie our defense is not the greatest um chalowski is a good prospect but our defense is not the greatest so 
So if we could get another prospect or another high draft pick, I would just be freaking thrilled. And we are going to get a good chance at a high prospect because we don't make the playoffs. So let's go. We're just going to go ahead, simulate all the way to the draft because there you go. It wasn't an eventful season, so I just went ahead and I skipped the whole darn thing for you. Now the AHL is going to have a little bit of a playoff run. That's very good. I'm, I'm happy about that. We're going to let the AHL do what the AHL do if they have another round then that's good and it doesn't look like the griffins qualify for the second round that's fine that's perfectly fine and i'm not gonna send down some players because i've had experiences where if you send down players in the ahl it stunts their growth for some reason i don't know if they fix that but i'm not willing to risk it okay i'm just not so that's okay like the max that we're gonna get is a couple of uh a couple of games at the most so whatever it is what it is here is the salary cap structure for the next season that's very good let's go on to the draft lottery please give us something good we have the second overall pick let's go we won one of the lotteries in los angeles won the first pick as the worst record in the league so that's very good for los angeles man they've been um you know they've been a little bit unlucky at times but they're gonna get the first overall pick we're gonna get second i'm very happy with it we're gonna get a very good player at that kind of uh, at that kind of ranking. All right, so let's go. Let's actually just simulate to the draft. Okay, I don't really care about any of this. You know what? Let's review retired players. We got Patrick Marlowe, Marion Hosa, Zetterberg, <laughs> freaking Zetterberg, retiring, Gabrick, Pominville, Bacchus. Okay, so there's some legitimate players here. Oh, Travis Zajac. Travis Zajac only finished with. All right, I he was a little bit more of a. Um, I thought he would have finished with more points than that, at least earlier in his career. Now let's look at the goaltenders that have retired. Nobody really notable here. All right, so now we are here. Let's get it. The draft is underway. The first overall pick is going to be the LA Kings possession. Let's see what they got. They got, oh, mm -mm -mm. they got a franchise sniper. That is very good for them. Well, let's see what we can draft here oh my goodness we just got i forgot i did this again i forgot i did this again but my boys that have watched my be a pro series y'all already know what it is we just got leonel phrase oh my goodness he's gonna be such a great player two franchise players in one draft class size and skill are his strengths goal scoring offensive instincts no weakness he does have a little bit of weakness but it's all good Hey, I'm, I'm chilling. I don't know why I don't know anything about Roddy. I'm going to need to fire a few scouts because of that. But other than that, man, you know what? He's a franchise player. Give me that. Give me that all day, your day. Even if he's not a, a center or anything like that, I would have liked a center. But it is what it is. Roddy was a decent player, but nothing spectacular. Yeah, we made a good pick here. We made a really good pick. The next picks were not as good. And you know what? 81 overall. So there you go. Lionel Fraze, second overall to the Detroit Red Wings. Let's go to pick number 36 and see what we can see. I would love a defensive prospects if we can get it. Please. Oh, they want me to pick the center. Oh, but this this defenseman. Mm. R. Curie. I'm going to pick the defenseman, man. I'm going to pick the defenseman. Please, R. Curie, don't be great. Don't be great. Don't be great. Don't be great. Oh, that's a whiff. He was only a top six. If, if the Archery or whatever you pronounce that as is a great player, I'm going to be pissed. Let's see what happens. He was, oh, a top nine forward. So really nothing special in the second round around my pick. So there you go. You know what? I'm going to go off the board, pick this left winger. Boom. Please be great. Ah, man, it's been a rough draft so far for the, for the Red Wings. Not nearly as good as what we got going on in San Jose on my live stream series so far. This is just not ideal got a potential you know a potential goaltender but it doesn't look like he has high potential so i don't know i don't know honestly we can get a goalie later let's just let's just grab this fisher get from switzerland oh my god 7th d lord have mercy it's been a rough freaking draft so far mm -mm -mm. i don't like this please defenseman be great please be great oh Top 6D is not great. If they get a super... You know what? The goalie was a backup, so that's good. French starter. What about the Bruins? The Bruins got a 7th... Yeah, this is a poor draft class, man. It doesn't seem like there's any um, quality other than, you know, the really top picks. The top two picks. Oh, please. Please be right, scouts. 
Please, that would be the best. If we could get a medium elite goalie, that would be awesome. Okay, uh, okay. Start a potential goalie, that's, that's fine. It's, uh, it's not what we were hoping for, but we'll still take it. It wasn't the best draft, but we got a great player. You know what I mean? Like, we got Lionel Frace. That is a franchise-changing kind of player. So we got him. But other than that, our picks have not been great um, in this year's draft. But it's okay. It's okay. Lionel Fraze is going to hopefully, all right, hopefully become a very, very useful player for us in the future. And we have just all the pop-ups in the world. And I want to rip my PS4's processor out every time I got to skip all of these. Huh. Other than that, though, it's been great. And we do not have a lot of players to re-sign. We do have a few right here. With Ronek and Pirellini, that's that's pretty decent. Ronek, what did you do this season? You, you eight goals, twenty-two assists. Actually, not the worst for a defenseman. Top four. Ah, we're gonna qualify you. You might become like an eighty-five. We're gonna qualify Ronek, and hopefully he can be. Whoa, you want a deal, Mister Ronek? Six years. That would bring him to 29. I am not sure about a $4.2 million price tag on six year, but if we can get it you at 3.9, I'm not mad at that. I would not be opposed to that at all. What about Mr. Brandon Pierlini? Dependable score for us. He only wants a one year contract. I'm actually very okay with this. Uh, that is a steep price, so we're going to give him 2.6. Hopefully, he's going to be okay with that. Other than that, these gentlemen do not want to re sign. Svechnikov, uh, you know, got pissed off at my offer. That's perfectly fine. Now, see, he wants a $3 million contract for two years. So he wants basically a bridge deal that gets him right to unrestricted free agency. I'll give you three years. Three years at 3.75. 3 there you go. I believe that is still under the amount that he wanted originally. Lionel Fraze, my man, we're going to give you your entry level because you're going to play in the NHL this season. Um, my man's is 30. You know, you're too old not to want to uh, to come back. All right, that's just not going to happen. Zdeno Chara is plummeting in overall. We're going to release him, and he is going to retire. I don't think anybody's going to sign him. And if they do, I... God bless him. You know, God bless him. What did Val Felpola do? You know what? 25 apples and 10 goals. That's not bad, man, for a fourth liner. Like, that's, that's not the worst. We would like maybe a little bit of a younger player, but that's still, you know, I'm not, I'm not mad at that. You know, let's see. Um, can we bring you back for one year, Val? Can you want a two-year? Get off my team, Val, Val Terry. Please get off my team. I'm, I'm not even interested in in speaking to him on that type of term. Uh, Adam Ernie, we're gonna give him a qualifying offer, and if he doesn't accept it, I won't even be, you know, I won't cry over it. Because he's just not going to develop into anything. Darren Helm is too old. Let's get him off the roster right now. Other than that, what did Mr. Wood do for the Grand Rapids Griffins? 28. Hey, you know what? You know what? This guy looks like he could be a player. He could be a player. Top six uh, defenseman. Nothing too crazy, but you need those, right? You need those. So we're going to give you that two-year deal that you want at the money dollar. The money dollar. The money amount that you want. The dollar amount is what I meant to say. And there you go. About this man's right here, Rasmussen, I think. You know what? He's a quality player, productive player, and he's got top six potential. So we are going to sign him. Let's see what we can sign him for, though. 22. He wants a one-year deal at 1.4. Mm, I'm going to give you a two-year deal at 1.47. I feel like that's decent. I feel like that's decent um, if he develops good, and if not, it's not a big risk, you know? So that's kind of a happy middle ground between these um, those two possibilities. Now, we got a whole lot of 77s over here that we need to make decisions on. You're 23 at 77 overall. I actually like you. We're going to, yep, one-year contract. I'm down with that. Uh, nothing, uh, nothing against that at all. You're 33. You can be a good... Um, good veteran for our team. That's good. Other than that, man, this mm, this gentleman, this gentleman, do you produce anything? You know what? You can be good for the, excuse me, hold on, production in the AHL. Oh, look at that. 34 goal score in the AHL. You know what? He's an asset to the Griffins. So we're going to give him, actually, I'm going to give him a two-year deal 
at a little bit more money. We can still bury the entire contract in the minors, so we're going to keep him down there um, playing for the Griffins and hopefully helping the team develop. Other than that, let's... Hicketts actually becomes a really decent player, and he can be very productive, so we're going to do that. Two years at 700 grand is no issue for me. Don't want to re-sign. Get off my hockey team. That's perfectly fine with me. You're 37. Get off my hockey team. 74 overall Marco Rossi. Do we... Do we sign him now? Mm, at 74, he could... He, you know what? We're going to give him his entry level right now. Let's do it. He's 74. He can play in the um, in the American Hockey League, so we're going to do that. We're going to make sure that he spends plenty of time um, on that first line and have a lot of minutes to show for it, and hopefully he develops a little bit better than he would if he was in the OHL. This Pearson gentleman... You know what, Pearson? You're going to be a casualty of this because we do not need to take... Uh, we do not need you to take Marco Rossi's minutes away from him. What about goaltenders? Goaltenders are going to be very interesting this season because we picked up Casey DeSmith, which is good. Calvin Picard had an awful season. We don't even want him back, and he doesn't want to re-sign. What a happy coincidence that is. Other than that, what did you do, Jonathan Bernier? You had 892, huh? Was that in Grand Rapids? No, that was actually in Detroit. You had five games, 892. In 917 for the Griffins, though. Do we re-sign him to play him on the AHL team is what we need to know. And that is probably going to be a no because he's a teen and teen. And Do we sign him and play him in the AHL? He's a little bit too low of overall to play, so he's not going to play that much. Oh, that's an um, interesting... Very interesting decision that we got to make on uh, on Tina or Tina, whatever you say. I don't know what to do with this one. I honestly don't know. Um, this man, Mr. Kyle Pedersen, that we got off of waivers also, I think, had a 921. That's really good. And at one point, man, man okay, we're going to keep him around. Why not? Other than that, oh, you know what? Jonathan Bernier doesn't even want to resign. I just noticed that. So we're going to boot him off the team real quick. And we're going to need to sign a goalie. Because um, he's almost 70 overall, right? So you can have a legitimate case that if he grows just a little bit, he'll be... Perform nah, 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 nah. I'm going to keep him in the OHL or whatever. I think he's from the OHL. Yes, he is. I'm going to keep him on the OHL and let him develop down there. All right, so let's go to the next day and let's see what happens. We got... Let's see. It was an easy decision, so we got N back. That's good. Easy decision. We got Ronek. That's good. I wasn't sure about Ronek, but I am thrilled that he decided to come back. Uh, what about... I'm going to reject your offer. Biega rejecting offers? I don't care about Biega. Okay. We got Pierlini back. That's really good. Mikhailrath is... I'm going to reject. Okay, I don't care that much about Mikhail Rath. Uh, Hicketts is coming back. That's good. Uh, Wood is coming back. Smith is coming back. That's really good. Svechnikov, I've decided to reject your offer. Big rip. He really wants to test the free agent market. Okay. Okay. I, um, I'm a little bit annoyed, but it's all good. Rossi signed. That's great. And Fraze has signed. Boy, that Rossi and Fraze... I'm just saying that Rossi and Fraze is looking sweet. We could have a huge dynamic duo here in Detroit in the next couple of years, man. Um, you know what? Fuck it. Svechnikov can go to restricted free agency. I don't care. I'll take the picks. Like I said, he develops, but he never develops to anything, you know, game-breaking. So we're just going to right off the bat go directly to free agency and see what's what. Now we do need a little bit of defense. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie, but we need everything because we're the Detroit Red Wings. Yeah, fail me. So we got some coaches that need rehiring. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we got going on here. We need everything for the AHL, and the NHL is Gucci. I'm just gonna do this, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna skip past this because this could take a while. All right. So now with that in the background, we are back to the free agency. All right, this is the fun part. We got a $23 million of a little bit of cushion that we can just go on and throw around. So we do love to see that. Let's see if we can get... Um, we don't need any sort of spectacular goaltender here. We need 
a decent backup is space actually man getting a starter would not be bad we got Lionel phrase we got our franchise player we got marco rossi so we got our number one defenseman or number one center excuse me all we need is our number one defenseman and holy moly tuka rask only wants a five million dollar contract that is that is that is not a lot of money for tuka rask but he is let's not get an elite goalie i don't feel like we're ready for that kind of stuff just yet years wanted one Ooh, ooh, Mr. Dubnik. Okay, 905. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Devin Dubnik is a chance we could take. I'm not mad at that at $3 million, man. He wants a one-year deal. I'll give him a little bit more. I'll give him 3.2. Come be the starter for our NHL team, please. Devin, that would be great. Other than that, we, we need basically everything else. You know, we're not the greatest 84 overall. You want to... A lot of money, though. What are you doing? Mr. Dougie Hamilton, 24 assists, 7 goals. That's not bad at all. Ooh, man, Justin Schultz is going off, though. I'm going to sign Justin Schultz. I would love to have a Justin Schultz on my team. Ooh, he wants a six-year deal at 30 uh, at thirty years old. That's just not going to happen, Justin. I don't know, I don't know why you thought that was going to happen, but no. Basically is what I have to say about that. Larson, good shutdown guy. He wants a six-year deal, so that's uh, I don't think. Yeah, listen, Adam, I, I'm not I'm not a big fan of that contract idea that you're giving giving us right here. You know, so maybe Dougie Hamilton can be the guy. Maybe that's the man. He's young. You know, he he's actually I really like that. At five point three, he's going to be probably our number one defenseman. So at five, we'll we'll fuck around and give him five point four. Boom, just like that. Okay. It would be great if we could help out the rest of the pairings, though. You know, like a good top six, a solid top six defenseman. Ian Cole does fit with our scheme, so we are going to get Ian Cole real quick. He wants a three-year contract. Oh, Ian, that's steep, man. That is very steep. I'll give you... I'll give you two years. Yeah, I'll give you two years. If he doesn't sign with us, that's perfectly okay, man. I We don't... We're not desperate. You feel me? We're not desperate at all. Stan Chara, he fits with the second pair. I'm, I wouldn't get him for the second pair. Flurry, though, I do like that. What do you want as far as a contract goes? You want three years at two mil. You know what? It's pretty decent. What would be the, what would be the compensation? Because he's very young. The compensation would be this year's second round pick. That's a big no. I'm not spending a second round pick on him. Even though, he, actually, what's his potential? Top four potential. We have those guys, man. We have those guys. We don't need them. We would need a top four defenseman. These guys have top four potential, but they're not really someone I'd be comfortable putting in the top four with their overall. So I would definitely like to have a top four, maybe even two top four defensemen. Other than that, our right wingers, we would need... Uh... We're actually decent. Like, we would need a fourth liner, and that's about it for right wingers. Our left wingers, we are also chilling for right wingers, or left wingers. That's not bad. That's not the worst, man. It, it definitely are worse left wing cores. And centers, you know what? I'm not sure what we're going to do with Marco Rossi. If we let him play in the OHL... I feel like that might be what's best for him, because at 74, he's really going to light it up, man. He really is in the OHL, and that might help him a lot. But at 74, he's also... Nah, you know what? I think we're going to keep him in the OHL. As much as I'd love to have the Marco Rossi and Lionel Frey thing going this year, we're going to need to um, to be patient and be careful and not make snap decisions with our roster. So we basically have Dylan Larkin, who's going to play, and then we have a third and a fourth line center. So we need a second line center. That is pretty much our top priority for this year's um this year's free agency you know what let's do it and we don't need them forever we don't need a long-term deal with any of them but it would be great to see if somebody you want one year you want a one-year contract eric stall for the squad you fit in best on the first line who fits in best on the second line would be derek step on that's actually you know what I wouldn't even be mad at Derek Stepan. Anybody else fit on the uh, second line? Galchenya. Ooh. Galchenyuk produces quite a bit in the game. So I'm going to go and give Galchenyuk some money. I'm going to give him 
three years, bring him right to 30, and we're going to pay him. He's going to be our second line center, basically. So we're going to pay him, um, maybe not maybe not that much, but pay him definitely 4.75. I feel like that's good. He's going to be our second line center for a little bit. So that's, um, that's a pretty good price for a second line center, if we're being perfectly honest. And as far as the... Ooh, as far as these right wingers go... Hmm, Williams, 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 you... We need a fourth line guy, though. That's the issue. Who... Who would fit Armia? Joel Armia. That's actually not bad. That's actually not bad. I'm gonna give him a uh, little bit more money. There you go. Two million dollars for Joel Armia this season. And let's go see about getting us another, you know, another mid-pairing defenseman. Who would actually fit well on the first pair? Dustin Bufflin. It's not time. I know some people want me to sign Dustin Bufflin right now. It is not time to make that kind of huge signing, you know? Or is it? No, it's not, because he's old as dirt. Let's not do it. It's not going to be good for our future. We're not going to do it. Other than that, Hamilton has already been offered a contract. Ooh, I like Brodeen. I like Brodeen's fit. Yeah, we could sign him. What do you want? You want a three-year deal at 27? That's perfect with me. And he, it's another one of those guys that's going to be playing high up in the lineup. So $5 million for Jonas Brodin. I'm not opposed to that at all. And let's just let's just see. Travis Sanham is another player that I really like. He does want a six-year deal. He's 25 years old. Oh, shit. He's going to be... He's, he's going to be restricted. He's going to be absolutely... Okay, so let's not do it. Other than that, Mr. Larson... Larson wants a ridiculous deal. I don't, I don't even want to bother with that. Uh, Valamaki could be an option. Ace restricted. Okay, so let's not, let's not do that. Alex Edler, he's a good fit on the first pair. You know what? He's a good veteran presence, and he only wants a one-year contract. We're going to give Alex Edler a boatload of money at one, or 5.2. Boom. I know it's a lot of money, but it's only for one year. So hopefully... As we simulate a couple of days, the majority of the players that we offer a contract will sign. Let's see what happens. These are going to be a lot of ooh, trades. Okay, don't care. Don't care. Oh, these are the coaches. Okay. The, the role you offer. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. And here we go. Okay, I'm just going to skip all of these. All right, so here are the players. Ian Cole. Ah, he's not going to come back. Or he's not going to come to the Red Wings. Rather, he stays in Colorado. That's all right for Ian Cole. Jonas Brodin goes to the freaking Ducks. That's not great. Galchenyuk, that's a good target that we really needed. So I'm glad he's on board. Joel Armio, very good. Alex Adler, very good. Happy with that. Let's get another defenseman. I was not happy with how that turned out. So let's do what we can to make sure that we remedy the situation. Actually... That's unfortunate, but Hamilton has not replied to us yet. So let's just go and look at the defensemen and see what's what. Bufflin only wants a two-year deal, though. That's that's the thing. Ah, oh, man, Dustin Bufflin would be really good for our team. I don't know if we're ready to compete, though. That's the thing. Does anybody else fit in on the first pair? I don't think so. Nah, nobody else fits on the first. Okay, fuck it. We're gonna we're gonna do it. We're going to offer Dustin Bufflin a contract. Two years is going to be steep. He's 36. He's going to drop. Mm. What if we give you a one-year deal, Dustin? But we give you $7.1 million. That's a lot of money, Dustin. Think about it. All right? Think about it. That's half of our cap space right there. So just, just you know, think about it. Hey, he did more than think about it. He agreed to it. Dustin Bufflin is coming to the Detroit Red Wings for this season. That's very... We lost out on Dougie Hamilton. I'm pissed. Devin Dubnik's coming, though, so that's good. But we are just... Um, I'm a little annoyed. Not gonna not gonna lie. A little annoyed at what just happened here with Dougie Hamilton. Larson, Larson only has one more team interested. I'm not giving you a six-year deal, though. I'll give Larson a five-year deal. 4.6. I'm really not comfortable giving Adam Larson that much money. I'm just not. Like, I, I know it sucks, but I'm not, you know? It's uh, it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. We could get Ruta. I'm... Nope. We're gonna give you... We're gonna pay you, but just for one year. 
There you go, 2.3. Enjoy that. Well, shit. It looks like Adam Larson's not comfortable with signing with the Red Wings either. So big rip for us. Uh, Root is coming, though, so that's not that's not the worst. Uh, Franz Nielsen, a second and third. Third and a fourth, and that's not... I don't need to do that for myself. We missed out on a few NHL targets, you know, a few free agent targets, rather. So let's look at the lines. We have Philip Zadina on the first line, who is now... 84 overall and has one okay 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 that's gonna be an issue we have dylan larkin with leonel phrase that right there ladies and gentlemen is one hell of a line now leonel phrase what is his best fit with the team he actually fits in very you know pretty well with every line so that's good all right so pretty decent galchenia is gonna be on the second line with high rose and fabry that's I'm not super happy with this second line. Matter of fact, if we could do this, uh, but that would hurt the chemistry a little bit. I'm not I'm not really happy with that, but I would love it if Anthony Mantha could get more playing time. So chemistry be damned. We're going to put Anthony Mantha on the second line. The third line is going to get a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of a chemistry penalty because of it, but it is what it is. Matter of fact, what if we do this? Oh, it restores everything. Good looking out. High Rose is going to be on the third line. He is an 85 overall second liner, though, as Bertuzzi is an 85 overall second liner as well. So we have uh, we have a lot of quality players here, and we have our franchise player. All right, so Alex Adler along with Bufflin. If we move these gentlemen around... Nothing really happens. Chalowski is an 82 overall, so he did not grow at all. That's really unfortunate. I'm not happy with that. His best place on the roster is pretty much even between the first and second pair. So is Alex Edler. Bufflin is pretty much the same. Is anybody great? Oh, Ronek is huge on that first pair. So boom. That's going to be a plus three. We're going to move them over. So Chalowski is hopefully with the plus three and a good partner on the first pair in a lot of minutes hopefully he develops a little bit faster than he's been developing other than that alex edler can we what if what if we is there a way i can fix this no i can't fix this third pair all right well what are my scratches looking like do i have a defenseman joel armia and <laughs> danny de kaiser huh he's actually a pretty good fit for all my defensive pairings oh man bowie or ruda i think I think it's going to have to be Ruta gets off the team for Danny DeKaiser. Hopefully DeKaiser fixes the cam a little bit. Yeah, there you go. So it's not a bad, it's not, we're not getting a penalty for that anymore. So that's pretty good. How about our left-right balance? I think it's just right. Yep, all the lefts and all the rights are where they should be. As far as our goaltending goes, yes sir, we do have Devin Duvnik. It's going to be his first season as a... As a Detroit Red Wings, his first and probably only season, if I'm perfectly honest. And Casey DeSmith is going to be on the Rasta for the backup position. As far as the other team goes, as far as... Oh, boy, that is that is a rough state of affairs for the... Um, the AHL lines, wowzers. This is, this is, this is, ooh, I don't like how this is looking. Um, man, this is, this is rough. Man, this is really rough for chemistry. Okay, let's just do this. Uh, sheesh. Who has really good potential? Does anybody have good potential? Well, the two top six forwards are being played as much as, as much as we can. Yeah, that's that's pretty much all I can do with that lineup. Um, as far as oh, Moritz Cider, I kind of forgot about him. Ooh, Moritz Cider could he's a top six defenseman now, and he's twenty years old. I'm not happy with this. Can we can we fix it? We can't fix it. Mm, so that's very unfortunate. Moritz Cider fits in well on the top. What if we do this? It hurts. It hurts the chemistry. Okay, you know what? Mort Sider at 80 overall could still grow in the AHL. So what we're going to have to do is go to roster moves. And what? Error in lines. I understand this. I want to go to roster moves. All right. So we figured it out. Hicketts is going to be our third pairing defenseman. And now our left right is thrown off. Actually, boom. It's no longer thrown off. So that's good. That's very good. We figured it out. We figured out the roster. And I'm chilling. Marco Rossi is going to be on the um, 
on the OHL team. So that's good. He's going to be on the 67s. He's going to be doing his thing. So let's see what happens to Detroit Red Wings this season. It's very exciting because we have a franchise sniper, you know, beginning his career. So that's huge. I'm very excited about that, especially because he's playing with Dylan Larkin, who's a 90 overall player who's going to be able to give him the puck for huge opportunities. So I am expecting great things from our number two overall selection. Should be huge. It's not going well right now in the preseason, but it's all good. It's not about preseason. It's about the regular season. Let's see what we can see, man. That's going to be in the next video, though. We're finally going to get some simming done and next time out. And I hope you join me. If you enjoyed this one, please hook your boy up and punch the like button in the face. Spend hell out of a comment and subscribe. I'm G20, man. As always, I love you guys, and I am out this bitch. Peace.